<laughs> Whew. What's up YouTube? What's up Facebook? I just made the video and got it uploaded and I uh, was actually having a conversation about it when the news came out that Justin Fields is transferring so felt like I had to make another video to kind of talk about that a little bit um, and I appreciate the comments on the last video you guys you guys pointed out some facts that I had missed so I appreciate that and I always appreciate you guys jumping down in the comment section um, I, you know I, I try to read them all I try to heart them all sometimes I can't quite get to them but I do really appreciate you guys hitting the thumbs up on the video it helps the metrics and push it up so other people will see it um, I also appreciate you guys subscribing I think I've got uh, I'm right at 800 now and I'm trying to get a thousand by the end of the uh, end of the season so <clears throat> I really appreciate you guys uh, you know subscribing I know I get a lot of people that watch the videos that don't subscribe um, but if you guys would subscribe I'd really appreciate it excuse me okay so Justin Fields has officially said that he's got a lawyer and that he's transferring what would he do? <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, I I think I kind of said this in one of the other videos, and I'll say it again. I just don't think UGA has a coaching staff to to teach this guy how to be the player that he really can be. Um, and the guy, as talented as he is, he needs to go somewhere, and he know, he does need to play. He doesn't need to ride the bench. My only you know concern of that whole thing was that um, he he was not going to be eligible. He was going to have to sit out a year. Well. Um, maybe you guys don't know this, but apparently, um, his lawyer is, uh, going to attempt to get him a waiver to play next year because of an incident that happened earlier in the year with a UGA baseball player, um, shouting some, some racial slurs, uh, I guess towards Justin Fields, even though Justin Fields didn't hear it on the field, there's no doubt he knew about it later on. Um, and so they're, they're kind of using that as ammunition whatever um i wish the guy the best good luck goodbye um i don't think we'll we'll be too worried about seeing you for a while um because wherever he's got wherever he goes he's got to learn a whole new offense there um he's probably going to be the best player on the team he's going to be expected to carry that team uh if he's going to a spot where he's going to be an immediate starter uh he is definitely going to he's, he's going to have some struggle maybe that's good for him now let's talk about what's good for Georgia. Justin Fields is gone, and how that helps Georgia is that now you don't have Jake Fromm having to consistently look over his shoulder, worry if they're going to put uh, you know Justin Fields in. Uh, looks like we had some of that problem kind of earlier in the year, but it seems it, you know after they they went back to Jake Fromm and they kind of said you know hey you're our guy, you know his his he got much better. <laughs> So, you know, while it was nice to have two five-star quarterbacks sitting in the wings, um, that's, you know, a luxury that a lot of teams don't have. It's not one that Georgia's going to have to worry about for much longer. Now, I do, I do want to throw a little wrinkle in the cur a little wrinkle in the game plan here. What happens if, heaven forbid, Jake Fromm gets injured in the Sugar Bowl game? And they put Justin Fields in. And Justin Fields lights it up. What if the injury, and, and obviously I don't wish this on anybody, I'm just playing the what if game. What if the injury is something substantial where Jake Fromm cannot play next year? I'm not sure how that's going to pan out, but we'll see what happens. So, um, it, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. Our offense doesn't lean on one person. Jake Fromm is an outstanding quarterback. And continues to get better uh, and is going to continue to get better I'm perfectly comfortable with Jake Fromm at the helm um, Plumlee is is supposedly uh, you know I had some some people on the last video talking about how good Plumlee was he's okay I mean but he's a backup quarterback he's he's not he's not a Jake Fromm he's not a Justin Fields he's not a Trevor Lawrence he's not a Jalen Hurts he, he's just he's an okay backup quarterback you know he's somebody that you can put in and for mop-up duty and he's somebody that you can put in if, if you need to check on your quarterback or, you know, you, you got you know, you got a guy that you can cycle in and out in those day offense. That's fine. But um, if we have to put that guy in in a big game, we're going to get creative on some play calling. But that's every that's that's almost every team. 
Um, I've watched some other uh, content creators this morning talking about, you know, what their opinions were and um, uh, of Justin Fields leaving. Uh, you know, while, while I would love to, I'm not going to say I don't want him on the team. That's ridiculous. I'd love to have him there, but I'd love to have, and I've said this since day one, he needs schemes and options that fit him. Um, or we need to build an offense that works with him. He's a dual threat quarterback. I, you know, we have almost no place to do that. So um, it, it is what it is. He's, he's a great quarterback. He deserves to play. Um, he, he's probably going to, and it's just, just my opinion, I, I think he's either going to go to, to someplace like Oklahoma or uh, if not Oklahoma, he'll probably go to Penn State or, or you know, something like that. He's, he's not going to stay in the SEC. Um, the the guy's talented, but I, I think that when the moment that they put him in a game as a full time starter, you're gonna you're gonna see a different side of fields than than what you've seen at Georgia. Um, the, it's, it's just you're gonna see. He, I don't think he's gonna do that great his first season. I mean, I think he's a great quarterback. I just don't think that he's gonna step out there and just wow everybody with his talent his first season. It's very rare. Um, it really looked like he struggled to understand the offense at Georgia. And please understand, if you're a dual-threat quarterback, you're just that dual threat. Um, you should be able to pass the ball consistently when you want to. I mean, and it just looked like he couldn't do that, And it, at least in my opinion. You know, there were times when it looks like he should have threw it away. He didn't throw it away in time. Uh, there were times that he, he threw a ball that got batted up in the air. He runs back and catches it 20 yards back and – or 15 yards back and it makes you know it's just you know things like that i mean and there's a bunch of them if you go back and you watch that game objective watch this game play objectively he did some good things and he did some really bad things and for a guy who's supposed to be some true freshman phenom yeah yeah i just don't see it but best of luck to him uh good luck dude um however you get to wherever you're going uh i hope you're happy um i think george is going to be just fine and, uh, it, you know, it is what it is. So good luck to, to uh, Justin Fields in the future. And uh, that's it, guys. God bless. Go dogs.